Hello everybody. My name is Christina Mixma and I am the principal viola with the Dubuque Symphony and I'm really happy to welcome you into my home. Uh, it's not my living room. I actually made a studio here in the unfinished basement of my house. It's not even my teaching studio. Uh, we needed a little bit more space. Um, so today I have put together a program of some of my very favorite pieces of, of music to play. Um, I do actually really like playing unaccompanied. It's a lot easier, um, but uh, these days it's our only option. Um, so before we get started, I want to make sure that you all see the donate button. Please give generously to the Dubuque Symphony uh, during these really difficult times. Uh, it's very important to support the arts, so I please ask you to to dive deep into your pockets and give us some hope for a future for when we can get back to playing for you in person. Um, I would like to thank my husband. He's been so helpful in getting everything set up. We had some technical difficulties toward the end. We had some internet problems and so we are broadcasting from my phone. I hope that it looks and sounds okay. Um, and before we get started, I'm going to let you know that I'm playing some pieces on violin and some pieces on viola. Uh, I played violin as an undergrad, and I still teach and play violin to this day, but a lot of you probably didn't know that I even played violin. Um, the first piece I'm going to play is on violin. Um, it is the Alamanda from the second partita by J.S. Bach. I studied this when I was in graduate school. I took violin lessons for one semester. And I studied with Katie Wolf while I was a student of Christine uh, Rutledge on vi uh, viola. I got the opportunity to take violin lessons with Katie, and this is one of the pieces that we played together. <laughs> I'm going to play is also going to be on violin and this one 
I studied with Dr. John Romney at Minot State University. I graduated from there with my bachelor's in 2001. Um, John and his wife, Lynn, were very instrumental in helping me become the musician that I am today. I was able to work very closely with both of them. Uh, I took lessons with both of them, and especially Lynn really inspired me um, to do the work that I do with the summer camp with the Dubuque Symphony. She ran a summer program called Dakota Chamber Music. It still runs to this day. It's a fantastic program if anybody is near mine at North Dakota and needs a festival to go to next year. <clears throat> but uh, she let me help plan and be involved with the running of the camp, and that helped me a lot to get ready for running the camp that uh, the Dubuque Symphony offers through its education programs. Unfortunately, we can't have any kind of camp like that this year, but I'm really looking forward to getting back to it next year. One of the biggest passions in my life is teaching, and I love teaching music. This is why I play, so that I can teach, and then I teach so that I can play. I can't do one without the other. I'm so grateful that my career has basically been built around teaching because I haven't had to stop doing that. I'm able to teach remotely online from my home and stay safe. I hope everybody out there is staying safe. I'm sure you can tell that I sound a little sick. I got really sick this week. Uh, Tuesday afternoon, I just felt like I had been hit by a bus and I was so scared because I knew I had a fever, but I had a really sore throat. My doctor sent me for testing and they tested for two things, strep throat and COVID. The strep test came back positive and I don't think there's any been, ever been anyone as happy as I am to have strep throat right now. <laughs> I still don't have the results of my COVID test, but I'm pretty sure it's not that because I've started feeling better after being on antibiotics for only a day. So still a ways to go yet, but I hope everybody is staying safe and taking all of the warnings very seriously. The next piece I'm playing that I studied with Dr. Rummy is the Giga from the third partita, the E major. And he wrote something in my music at the beginning that um, makes me smile and be full of joy every time I see it. He wrote a name, Krista. Krista was the cellist in my quartet at the time, and she embodied happiness. And so that's what I think he wanted me to get across with this one. To round out my section of violin playing, I'm going to play something a little bit different. <clears throat> this piece is a slip jig, an Irish jig, um, an Irish fiddle tune called The Butterfly. And this is inspired by our friends who are in the band Wild Nept. They recorded this piece many years ago. It got stuck in my head and I liked it so much I decided to learn it as a fiddle tune. So this is for all the neptiles out there.
So next, I'm going to go to my main instrument, my first love, the viola. A lot of people ask me why I chose the viola, because it's not the most popular instrument. Well, my best friend at the time, Shauna, decided to play violin, so I said, okay, then I'll play viola. And we played together all the way through school, played duets in high school, and she's been a good friend to me all these years. Little did I know um, <clears throat> that my mother had also played viola, and my grandmother played violin. So they're really the reason that I'm doing this. My whole family's in, in music. Um, I have my love for music because of my parents. Thanks, Mom and Dad. I hope you're watching. And um, my life would not be the same without music. There was never a doubt that I would make a career in music. And that's because of all the support that my parents and my family gave me through the years. On viola, the first piece I'm going to play <clears throat> excuse me, is the prelude to the second Bach suite. Uh, this is the D minor suite.
have one more Bach movement for you. And this is the first one of the pieces I'm playing tonight that I studied with Christine Rutledge. And she is the teacher who influenced my sound and my way of playing the most. I studied with her for my master's and then my doctoral coursework. And this movement, this is going to be from the sixth suite, um, and us violists played in G major. Uh, there's a good reason for that. Those of you who are in the know will understand. Um, but the allemand from this suite is covered in markings. I had a really hard time understanding what I wanted to do with it, and she really encouraged me to literally plan it out. And I've played it so many times since then. It has become my most performed piece in my entire career. I play this every chance I get. Um, I'm getting a little bit choked up because there are so many emotions in this piece from my life. About two years ago I lost my yaya, my grandmother, and I played this for her funeral. And um, But I also play it for happy events too, so there's just a lot there's a lot going on in this piece. Um, I hope you enjoy it.
<clears throat> the next piece that I'm going to play is called Shaha Gear. And it is by Alan Hovannis. Alan Hovannis was an Armenian American composer, and he died in the 90s, I believe. I should have looked that up. I'm just going by memory. Uh, this piece is really special to me. First of all, I did study this with Christine um, in graduate school, but it's also special for the students who I've worked on this piece with. There's one who's now a student at the University of Iowa studying with Christine. Um, and I just started working on this with one of my all-time favorite students, who's also a babysitter for my kids. <laughs> but she's one of those very special students that I have a really strong connection with. I actually love all of my students, whether they practice or not. Um, I really do get attached to all of them. Um, but this is a beautiful piece written for solo viola. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
and now I'm ready to play my last piece. I want to hit you, let let you know. I want to remind you, hit the donation button. Please be generous with the Dubuque Symphony. I have some special guests that are going to be joining me here. <clears throat> this is Nikos. This is Jill. This is Malcolm. And I have one last piece to play for you, and this is my surprise to all of you. I'm dedicating this to all of my colleagues, all of the other staff members at the Dubuque Symphony, all my friends and family. This piece means a lot to me. This is a song that I sing to my boys every night at bedtime. Oh, I should have seen.